Okay, I wanted to talk a little bit about HDR. Uh, we talked about dodge and color burn uh, tools, which as you remember, tend to take uh, the dodge tools, tend to take the darker tones and move them towards the mid tones, and the color burn to tools take the um, higher tones and bring them again towards the mid tones. HDR, kind of a confusing uh, name for it because HDR has several different meanings, um, but what it appears to be doing, and some of this is conjecture because the, the Silky Picks manual isn't very clear on it, um, but what HDR is actually doing is, is what's called tone mapping. It's changing the relationship of the tones based on um, the values of the nearby tones and doing so in a way that it should hopefully be very natural. This is what happens when you take multiple images and you combine them in an HDR program like Photomatics or uh, one of those tools and then remaps um, everything so that it all fits within uh, the range of tones that your display can, can show you. Um, so just well, here's our histogram. As you can see, there's these spikes. These spikes represent these various tone values. Um, as we take our HDR values up, you can kind of see these spikes are kind of spreading out. There's more contrast within each tonal range. And um, you also see kind of the midtones are kind of going gray. Stuff's kind of spreading out. Um, what's interesting, what I think you should be at least aware of, is that As we increase the contrast, and I hope you can see that, these areas where the contrast is the greatest, you start seeing these halos start to show up right here and here and here and here, where these, where these areas of high contrast with tones nearby. And this um, just something you should be watching out for. Um, let me just move my histogram out of the way. So here's Washington Monument, D.C. If I bring this HDR up, there's a lot that's going on that I do like. The, the tone mapping is kind of increasing the contrast. You can see these lights better, um, but you're getting this black halo around the Washington Monument. And unfortunately, the only way to, to fix that is to drop the HDR back down. So you do lose a little bit of that HDR effect, um, but you get rid of the halo. So anywhere where there's really high contrast, very light and very dark colors next to each other, um, you got to be careful with HDR. You may have to go to use dodge and color burn tools. Um, because the other thing is the dodge HDR tends to emphasize more of the uh, brightening of the darker tones, and the color burn HDR tends to work more on the upper tones. Um, the other thing that I have discovered is that um, I'm just going to uh, command X to reset this picture. Um, you may remember this from before. This is actually a uh, part of a series of HDR shots um, with the background blown out. Normally I wouldn't care about that, but if we did, um, if we just raise the HDR, it does bring back some of those tones. Um, and also is brightening up the shadows, and that's pretty good. But I would actually um, bring the exposure down a little bit because it seems to bring out a little bit more actual tonal detail in the background. So um, I guess, sh long story short, HDR is a much stronger effect um, it can sometimes look a little artificial if you use it very strongly. Um, it can also introduce halos in areas of high contrast, so you have to be careful with it. Um, but it is another tool for using um, to modify your tonal values along with your dodge and color burn tools and also your regular uh, contrast tools. So I hope you found this informative. Uh, feel free to like it. And if you have any questions, uh, leave any comments either on Facebook or in uh, 
on the YouTube channel, and I will uh, I will respond to them there. Thanks, and enjoy using Silky Picks.